Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of equations and inequalities. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us, let alpha, beta and gamma be the roots of a cubic equation which is given to us. So alpha, beta, gamma are the roots and the equation that is given to us, it says, x cube plus bx plus c equals 0. Further, it is telling us the product of beta and gamma is 1, which is nothing but also equal to minus alpha. And the question is asking us to figure out the answer for the expression, which is beta cube, b cube plus 2c cube minus 3 alpha cube minus 6 beta cube minus 8 gamma cube. So we need to figure out the value of this entire expression that is given to us. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given, it says 21, 19, 169 divided by 8, 155 divided by 8. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. So let's figure out how to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, Please do subscribe to my channel and also support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. Let's see the solution of this equation now. We have been given a cubic equation which says x cubed plus bx plus c equals 0 which has its roots as alpha, beta, gamma. Now when it is told to me this idea, I know beta and gamma is equal to 1 as the product of them and which is also equal to minus alpha. So from here I get alpha is minus 1 and the product of beta and gamma is plus 1. So if I see the idea now further it also tells me that it's a cubic equation. So we know for a cubic equation which is of the form ax cube plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals 0. The product of the roots is nothing but minus d over a. So when the product of the roots is minus d over a, if I see that, it tells me that product of the roots means alpha, beta and gamma's product. It's equals to minus d over a, where d is nothing but c in this case and a in this case is 1. So from here I get alpha, beta, gamma is equal to minus c. Alpha is minus 1, beta into gamma is 1, which is minus c. So minus 1 equals minus c and from here I get c is 1. Once I have c as 1, if I put that in my cubic equation where I have the roots alpha, beta, gamma. So if I put the values in this, we know already that alpha is minus 1. So putting x as minus 1 in this entire cubic equation gives me minus 1 cubed plus b into minus 1 plus c equals 0. So from here I get minus 1 minus b plus c equals 0. That gives me c is b plus 1. And we already know the value of c that is 1. So b plus 1 is 1 and that gives me b is 0. So I have got c with me. I also have got b with me. Now once I have b and c with me in this equation, if I put it, it basically makes it x cube plus 0x plus 1 equals 0. That makes it x cube plus 1 is 0. That gives me x cube is minus 1. And when I have this cube root of negative 1, I know x, the roots of this quadratic or the cubic equation, it's going to be x equals minus 1 or it's going to be minus omega or minus omega square. So basically we know these are the three roots of minus 1 where omega cube we know it is basically 1. So omega is nothing but the complex cube root of unity. Now let's further try to solve this. Once I have the three roots with me and those three roots are minus 1, minus omega and minus omega square. We have been told in the question that 
alpha, beta, and gamma are the three roots. So once I have this ideas, I have with me alpha is minus one, beta into gamma, if you see actually, which is minus omega into minus omega square, that gives you omega cube, which is one, because omega cube is one. And once I know this, if you see this condition is also getting satisfied, which says beta into gamma is one. So I have got my three roots with me. Now, once I have got my three roots with me, I can just put those values in the expression they are asking us to find the value for. So beta b cube plus 2c cube minus 3 alpha cube minus 6 beta cube minus 8 gamma cube. Now, once I have that with me, b, it's told to me that b is basically 0 and c is 1. So 0 cube plus 2 into 1 cube minus 3 alpha in this case, we know it's minus 1, which is cube. Minus 6 beta, which is no is minus omega cube and minus 8. This is minus omega square cube. Let's solve this. So 0, 2 into 1, which is 2. Minus 3 into minus 1 cubed is minus 1. So minus 3 into minus 1, which is plus 3. Minus 6 into minus omega cube. Minus 8 into minus omega 6. So from here, I get 5 plus 6 omega cube plus 8 omega 6. So from here, I get omega cube as 1. So it makes it 5 plus 6 into 1 plus 8. Omega raised to 6 is nothing but omega cube squared. So that is 1 squared, which is 1. So it's also 1. So 5 plus 6, 11, 11 plus 8, I get this answer as 9. So I get the answer for the question as 19. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of equations. So it might be a cubic equation. It might be a quadratic equation. So from there, we figured out the values of B and C. And once I got B and C, I got my three roots also. And I just put them in the expression and got the answer as 19, which matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.